Hey everyone, um, Adam here. Sorry I didn't make a video last week. Um, I had a lot of stuff on my mind. I'm losing my job. Um, I've got one week left. And, uh, uh, no job <laughs> after that. Um, yeah. So, I just kind of had a lot of stuff on my mind trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I just wasn't up for making a video. Um, yeah, it's a big mass termination, so pretty shitty, but, you know, we're all losing our jobs, so it seems to be the way things are going right now. Um, so anyway, uh, this week um, we're talking about um, how young is too young to transition. Um, I don't really think there is anything that's too young to at least start exploring, you know, your your options. Um, you know, a you know young kid wants to play with toys of you know any either gender. That that's totally cool. If they want, you know, to wear clothes of either gender, that I mean, I don't I don't see a problem with um, the whole exploring now. When it comes to hormones and surgery, stuff like that, I think that that should be um, something that, you know, they have to be old enough to understand, obviously, you know, what's going to happen and, and stuff. So, as long as they're old enough to be able to, you know, um, understand that, you know, the changes are not reversible and, and different things like that. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I think that uh, if there's, you know, a little kid that, like, you know, a little boy that says I want to be a girl, or a little girl that says they want to be a boy, I don't think that they should be stopped. Um, I don't know if anybody's watched the 2020 show, um, you know, on transgender children, and, you, you know, you can't deny those, those kids that option of, um, getting to live their life happy rather than, you know, being angry and, and not understand and things like that. So, um, yeah, I definitely think that, uh, that it's important to let kids, you know, just be who they are. Um, you know, that's, that's how I'm going to let my kids be whenever I have kids. Um, they're going to get to pick and choose. If I have a little boy that wants to wear a dress, cool. That's totally fine, you know. I'm not gonna stop that, um, and I think that that's important, um, you know, for kids to be able to explore and just see what what works for them. And uh, when you're there young enough, it's a fairly safe zone for that, right? You know, you can have them dress up at home and and stuff. You know, it's safe. And, uh, and that, so, um, yeah, so that's my feeling, is, yeah, any age, let kids be kids, and be happy, that's what matters the most, right, happiness, so, yeah, um, next topic is plans for the summer, find a job, <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm thinking next week, when I'm done, my job because I haven't found anything yet. I sent off a few applications and resumes and whatever, but I haven't heard anything yet. I'll probably give the places a call, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Um, so my plan, I'm planning on hopefully going to uh, Toronto next week to visit some friends. Um, I really want to go to the Science Center because they've got the Science of Spying exhibit on, and that looks kind of cool. And Science Center is just a lot of fun. So, I really want to go there. i um, hoping to go to Toronto Pride this year again. Um, first annual Trans March, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I don't know, I'd like to go camping at least once just because camping is fun. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to go to Marineland with my friends from work. Just 
you know, have a good time and relax, enjoy. I love going to festivals, and there's a lot of festivals at the park that's, like, five-minute walk from my apartment, um, including a festival on this weekend that I've gone to Friday night and yesterday, and I'm going again today. <laughs> um, so I love festivals, so, like, any festival I can get to, I will go, because they're just fun. Like, you get to experience new food and new music, and I don't know, it's just cool. So, I love festivals. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm just kind of going to chill and have some fun and um, contemplating joining the army to be uh, med tech um, because of my background. I could probably get into that. Not sure, though. Um, big decision, of course. But kind of looking like my only really option, um, because, I mean, I'm struggling to pay for myself to go through school, and I don't know, it's just, I don't know, a lot to think about, um, just with the way the economy is, I'm just concerned that I'm not going to be able to find a stable enough job to help me pay for school, and pay off my surgery, and, and stuff, and, um, joining the army just seemed like it's something I've been thinking about for a long time, and it's something my parents actually said when I was little. They're like, you should join the army and be a nurse or whatever, and um, so they actually told me to do that. So if I call them up and say I joined the army, they shouldn't freak. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. And my parents. Um, anyway, so I don't know. Um, I'm just concerned about being trans and in the army. Um, so if anybody has any knowledge on how trans people are treated in the army, I would love to hear from you. Um, you know, because obviously you gotta be careful, right? But I think uh, I think that would be pretty cool. So, um, so that's kind of different things that are going on right now. Just trying to figure out what to do and have some fun. Um, anyway, I hope everybody has a good week, and again, sorry for not making a video last week. I will uh, talk to you guys uh, later.